Hello everyone, my name is Eposvox, and this is Sony Vegas Pro 13. It literally just came out, and when I heard, I had to ask the question that I'm sure most people ask when software releases fairly repetitively. The question is why? Why did Sony Vegas Pro 13 come out? The answer for YouTubers is no reason at all, and it won't really do much for you at all. If you're in the professional market of video production, there are literally two whole new features, two new features of the software that may make a difference for you. I like that. There, there's a couple different features, I guess, that could help out anybody and YouTubers, but overall there's not a whole lot. I'm pulling up the product specs page from Sony's website here and we're just gonna do a quick comparison. The only big things according to the website and from that I have found that really make a huge difference is they've added a more they've added a bigger variety to the project interchange menu which is under file export and in this menu you can typically export a Vegas file and then in the past you could export like a Pro Tools file and maybe a Final Cut file as well as a PSP PlayStation Portable file for some reason and export your project there and every once in a while it would maybe work. It wouldn't really do what you wanted though. In this new version of Sony Vegas you get Final Cut Pro 7, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro 10, XD Cam, uh, Media Composer AAF, Pro Tools AAF, Vegas Project Archive to archive your Vegas files and nest them in other Vegas projects, which is kind of like the multiple sequences you can do in Adobe Premiere, which is kind of cool, but still not quite the sequence aspect that I'm looking for. And then you can actually also export it as a Premiere or After Effects.PR proj file, which is pretty cool. It kind of works if you export it and open it up. It does technically have a f have the video that I had in there and in a Premiere compatible file. However, it really screws up your workspace and overall the benefits aren't kind of there. The next big feature is Vegas Pro Connect, which is all about collaboration and reviewing big major projects on an iPad. Why? Overall, I don't know. Again, in the big professional media field, if you have giant, ridiculous professional projects going on you need to review, then I guess it would be useful to do so on the go. However, considering how just terrible I consider Vegas' rendering to be, I, I, I would not suggest doing that. They did add another thing, and that is loudness meters, basically just another way of telling how loud your audio is in a more accurate and rendered out state with some new fancy colorful bars. That is pretty cool to me because I'm all about audio balance so I kinda wanna pay attention to that. So I do like seeing that although it's not a huge big deal. And then they've added proxy first workflow for XD cam footage and exporting to the cloud. Not, again, nothing major that YouTubers are going to use. Now if we open up the program itself and reset our workflow like it would typically be in previous versions of Sony Vegas, it looks exactly the same. That's because I, everything basically is exactly the same. They have, of course, tuned up and tweaked up and made some features a bit better and they've added better support for 2K, 4K, Ultra HD content and stereoscopic 3D, which apparently people still mess with. Not sure why. And then if you check out the render menu, it's also exactly the same. So overall, if you're a YouTuber, I would not, especially this early in this buggy of a build, I would not suggest jumping the ship into Sony Vegas Pro 13. There's not really much to do with it that's different than 12. This is, of course, if you're coming from 12, I heavily use 12 whenever I actually use Vegas. And so there's nothing you're really getting over that other than the loudness meters and potentially nesting and archiving your Vegas projects. However, as far as the archiving aspect, all it does is export another Vegas file. You could do that yourself, and that's essentially all you're doing, so 
To me, that's not really much of an archiving thing. But all right. I don't. I don't know why software companies insist on just putting out so many different versions just to charge us more money. I really don't. One thing to note: if you're a gaming YouTuber, I have tried multiple times to, impl- to import a variety of DX Story recorded files using the UT Video Codec that I typically use for my game recordings from the recording program DX Story. I can import it just fine, and actually, I can, while I'm trying to import it into 13, I can import it into 12 and get it on the timeline and edit it, while 13 just completely crashes. Not sure why, I know this is a common issue with Vegas, it just kind of works itself out, but if you're a gaming YouTuber, you want to 100%, I would say, steer away from that because of that kind of bug. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, my name is Benny Fox, and thank you for watching. See you guys later. Let me know what you think about Vegas 13 in the comment section below if you have any experience with it. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to subscribe now. To watch another video, click one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Twitter, and Facebook pages. See you next time.